Hello everybody, okay, I'm gonna be talking about uh, 2K15's My Career Mode since I just watched the 2K16 My Career Mode trailer, actually, that was recently released, and it looks really good. Now, let me just take a, uh, a moment to actually talk about WWE 2K16's My Career Mode from what we've seen from the trailer. Now, in the trailer, it seems like they completely, when they say they rehauled everything, they completely rehauled everything. Everything looks amazing. It looks like um, the career mode from the NBA 2K games, you know, what you see in that and how amazing that is. Hopefully your character actually has a voice in this just like in the NBA games. So you actually get to pick whether your character is a is a good guy or bad guy, you know, face or heel, but it depends on what kind of face you are, an aggressive face or like a super, super, uber, like uber duper, whatever, baby face, you know, um, even when you're a heel, you can be a loyal heel to your teammates if you're on a team, or you could be like a, a scumbag heel, you could be egotistical, you could be, I, I guess, Weasley, if, if possible, like the fact that I saw that you have dialogue options, and your character is actually saying all this stuff, so of course the, uh, they might have pre-recorded voices. That's pretty cool uh, to have, you know. So, um, the, actually, a lot of other things I want to talk about with that too is the fact that you can just join um, the title pictures. Like you get go to the tag team titles, you can go into the NXT title, uh, you know, all the title pictures. You can just join it, and you have to work your way up to. The actual title you have to become number one contender you have to work your way up that's pretty good now um okay no no actually there's another thing that's interesting about this is the fact that you can build relationships with people you can actually piss someone off so much like interfere with their matches and you can actually build a rivalry with them you can actually build a, a like a friendship with somebody else and become like their tag team partner or you could become their manager if you wanted that's that's so interesting so interesting now let me get on to 2k15 now i was really hyped for 2k15 when i when, when the game was first coming out i followed everything about it i was like oh oh man they got a micro remote and i looked at nba 2k and i was like they're gonna make it like this holy crap you know it, like but i had to wait another year in order for you know to see that but that's beside the point. Anyway, so I was like, yes, I get to, like, I'm, my character's gonna, gonna, like, be tag team champ, you know, with, with Adam Rose and, or Cesaro or people, like, other wrestlers that deserve pushes, you know, like, that deserve way better, you know, whatever. But, but no, it wasn't like that. When I got it, it was just dull. There was nothing there. Because I was like, okay, I, I get to pick pay-per-views. Okay, that's fine. Picking a pay-per-view, uh, they offer certain bonuses. Okay, like extra VC, uh, you know, SP or whatever, or like shirts that boost your stats or whatever. Um, I was like, okay, I entered Money in the Bank. Now, can I enter the M Money in the Bank ladder match? No, okay, that's, that's fine, I guess. I mean, there are other matches other than the Money in the Bank ladder match, but they just put me up, like, they put me in a random feud, which is weird. Also, um, you guys know that Night of Champions... You have to defend your title, you know, just you have to, at the in that night, you have to defend it at Night of Champions. Why is it that my current character that I have now, um, my current character is the Intercontinental Champion. Why did it automatically just skip Night of Champions? They told me I couldn't even go to Night of Champions. That was so stupid. Like, I won Royal Rumble and had a match at Mania for the Intercontinental title. I main evented Mania for the Intercontinental title. That is quite possibly the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, honestly, they should be like, oh, you're going to every single pay-per-view ever. Like, that's how it should be. Go to, like, even if you're a jobber, you should stay away from some pay-per-views until you go up the ladder. Then you go to a pay-per-view if you have like a meaningful feud. Because not everybody goes to a pay-per-view, but if you're, but if it's Royal Rumble, everyone goes. But still, the main thing I really wanted to I wanted to rant about is just the fact that since my character is the Intercontinental Champion, I wanted my character to be the longest running. Even though in 2K15 it doesn't matter, 
while in 2K16 is going to matter because you get to enter the Hall of Fame by completing certain criteria, you know, um, being the longest running champion, like any long running champion, like hold any title for over a year, that's fine. Hold every single title, that's that's fine. Um, be a 10 time champion and with any title, that's fine, you know, stuff like that, you know, but in 2K15, it doesn't matter. Like, you win a title, so it really doesn't matter. It's it's not like, you know, people are going to be coming for that. I mean, and also the fact that you have to defend it every single time, every single week on Raw. And if you don't, if you don't defend it once, if you don't defend it once, then they'll strip the title away from you. But even if you keep that title, if you defend it more, like, no, actually, if you defend it 10 times, they'll still strip the title from you which makes no sense to me because i just wanted to just enjoy the game be a champion for a long time but then they were like no move on to bigger better things like that's the thing i don't like about it because in the beginning when you're on nxt you are forced to win the nxt title before you move up to the main roster that is stupid like like honestly i won it the first time with my original character but with my new character i was like you know what i'm gonna make my new character a mid carter and he's gonna lose some stuff like he's gonna have amazing matches but he's gonna lose and so he lost to adrian neville for the nxt title and then they were like okay we're gonna reset everything because if you don't do this we're gonna just terminate your contract it's like this this makes no it seems to me that 2k just threw this stuff together because honestly they were just they were like this is the first game they were making for like the the next gen console well, current gen consoles so i i get it but at the same time you don't just throw this stuff in there when nba you 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 actually have something really really good going because that that just made no sense and also the only person that's voiced um during the the quote-unquote cutscenes um is like vicky guerrero most times but you know obviously they had the old trainer uh i think his name was bill demott you know they, they had him in there sure but the one you're he you hear the most is vicky guerrero it's like why why is no one else voice why is this so stupid why 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 <laughs> everything just it's so bad it, and also the reason why they stripped me of the intercontinental championship is and telling me to move on to bigger better things like trying to tell me that i should be main eventing they're trying to get me the WWE Championship because once you win the WWE Championship, the game just ends. Like, the game is like, you go on to have a great career and, and you know, you enter the Hall of Fame. Vicky Guerrero gets fired. You know, it's like, what? A, like, that is the cheapest thing. They just threw that together. So hopefully in 2K16, we don't get any of that. We go to the Hall of Fame. We give a Hall of Fame speech. And then there we go. We're out. We're out of there. My career is over. And then we go on to play my universe mode for three years. <laughs> well, at least for a full year until 2K17 comes out. But yeah, that's really what I wanted to, like, just the basics. I wanted to um, just rant about with the, you know, my career mode with 2K15 because that's, it's just, it's unfinished. It's unfinished. It's because there's nothing to do you can't answer a title picture on your like on your own you can't do that it happens randomly you can't enter the royal rumble it happens randomly you can't enter the money in the bank ladder match it happens randomly you can't even have hell in a cell matches it happens actually one time i had a steel cage match i had four steel cage matches i had to win on raw and all four times a steel cage wasn't even there so i thought maybe like uh maybe like they just said oh wait oh they we say he's having a cage match at like pay-per-views at the next four pay-per-views or something i don't know that's impossible but um i was thinking that but then it was like oh wait no the cage is actually here it's just invisible the game glitched awesome but but yeah that's all i want to talk about what do you guys think about 2k15's micro remote and what do you guys think about 2k16's micro remo what like if you guys actually seen the trailer if you haven't go watch it please it's on the wwe youtube channel 
just it's really great it got me hyped because it showed off the great things you can do like be someone's manager interfere with people's matches become part of a tag team i'm gonna join the new day as soon as i get the game from day one i'm gonna be with the new day and then i'm gonna break off from the new day and i'm gonna team up with adam rose because he deserves way better than he has now adam rose you are definitely intercontinental championship material but anyway tell me what you guys think about in the comments i'm sean jackson have a great day.